Oh my god, do you guys know about the edible stories? Has anyone shared the edible stories yet with you? <laughs> oh my god, has anyone told those stories yet? <laughs> we heard about Scary Movie 1. Oh, the fact that Scary Movie 1, in terms of, like, being politically correct, is so politically incorrect, it's insane. Is that what you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Self-report? Oh, chat. <laughs> Let me just turn off um, text-to-speech before I forget, and then I'm going to tell you guys about the edibles. Because the edibles is, like, really funny. To be fair. I'm surprised no one's really told those stories yet. So the edible story is really funny. Um, and I'm sorry to Ellen in advance, because I thought Ellen would have told this story. So anyway, like, I guess, um, I think everyone was, like, feeling the burn, like, the introvert or just, like, social battery burnout from all the socializing. Because it was, like, a you know, it was a lot of socializing and meeting lots of different people. So one night, um, Steve was like, let's just get some edibles and whatever and watch some films. And I was like, I can't think of anything honestly better than just like a really nice night where I can just kind of like be quiet and stuff and relax. So we like got some food delivered, did like a delivery, delivery, got some food, got some ramen. No, wait, it wasn't ramen that night. Oh, it was Indonesian food. We got Indonesian food that night. Um, I definitely heard that everyone's social battery was absolutely destroyed. Oh my God, by Vegas. Everyone was so, like, burnt out and tired from all the socializing. Because it was just all day, every day, meeting so many different people. Anyway, <laughs> this one night we did edibles. I was, bro, I was like, I haven't, so I used to smoke weed when I was a kid. Um, and I didn't, I, I, I basically stopped doing it one day because every time I tried to do it, it made me, like, really anxious and panicky. And I remember all I'd ever think was, like, I can't wait to feel sober again. Um... A kid, yeah, well, like, f 14 to 16-ish. 14 to 16, I used to smoke a lot of the marijuana, which is ridiculous, I know, but, um, that's when I did it anyway, and it used to make me, like, really, so last year, basically, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I just basically grew to hate it, because I always just used to feel, like, anxious and panicky, and, like, just didn't, in, like, I didn't enjoy it. Anyway... So I was like, Steve, like, I was like, I don't really know how much to do. Um, because I haven't really done it since I was a kid and I don't really like it. It usually just makes me like nervous and anxious. So we, whatever, we did it. And then like, <laughs> I remember like, because apparently they take like an hour to kick in. I'd never actually done like edibles or anything before. Um, and I was sat there eating food. We were watching this film, right? And I remember just like out of nowhere, I was just like, I didn't feel like I was chewing food in my mouth anymore. I don't know how to explain it. I, I just felt like I was chewing like... Like, what do they put in your mouth at the dentist? You know, like those little white foamy things? I kind of felt like I was just chewing that. And I'll never... I, I was just like... I don't know why. I just kept like... I carried on eating even though I felt like I wasn't eating anymore. Yeah, like almost like cotton swabs. But for some reason, I just kept eating and eating, even though I felt like it was so dry and I was just, like, chewing cotton the whole time. But I guess I was just, like, super high. So I just kept doing it. Any, any, anyway, like... Uh... <laughs> and we had, like, this boba, right? We had this boba. And after I got done eating... I could feel that I wasn't really, like, digesting the food anymore because it had been so dry. It was kind of, like, all just, like, stuck here. <laughs> I was drinking boba. <laughs> I was, like, drinking my boba to try and wash it down. And I became, like... I don't know how to explain this, right? But I became, like, hyper fixated on getting every every single boba... <laughs> getting every single little boba ball... Out of the... No, chat, not booba, boba. Like, bubble tea, boba. <laughs> I became, like, hyper fixated on getting every single boba through the straw. <laughs> but the boba had, like, a plastic lid on it, and, like, you punctured it to get the straw in. And it was, like, really squeaky. 
So at one point, the boys, like, were laughing at me, and they were like, can you shut up? <laughs> and I, because I was, like, really high and hyperfixated on what I was doing, I hadn't realized what I was doing. <laughs> and anyway, we were watching, like, a scary movie. <laughs> we were watching, like... <laughs> and I swear, like... Koo, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate it. Chat, I swear, this is like 20 minutes later, right? I had obviously been in... Uh, I can only describe it as like a hyperfixated state of getting every single boba ball out the bottom of this thing. So... <laughs> the, <laughs> all I remember... <laughs> All I remember, right, is that I was sat on the, <laughs> I was sat on the sofa. <laughs> I had Dumb Dog in front. We were, like, all lying on this sofa. I had, like, Dumb Dog in front of me, Elam next to me, and then Steve further down. And then, um... I, I just remember, like... And I don't know how to explain this. It was, like... Guys, I need you to picture Frank. <laughs> I need you. I need. I need you to picture Frankenstein for a second, okay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know how like Frankenstein gets his head sewn on. So if you imagine Frankenstein turning round, it would be like this, okay? And I, I, I was fixated on getting these bobas out, right? And it was squeaking. But I didn't know it was squeaking because I was hyper fixated on getting the boba out. And Dumb Dog turned around to me, chat like this. <laughs> like, I can only describe it as like Frankenstein turning to look at me. D like, D Dumb Dog doesn't look like Frank. <laughs> Dumb Dog doesn't look like Frankenstein. <laughs> but the way he was moving reminded me of Frankenstein. And <laughs> I look, I, I looked up and I made this eye contact with it, with Dumb Dog, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So I looked. <laughs> I looked to my left. <laughs> I looked to my left like this, and <laughs> and Ella just goes like this. <laughs> and and they. <laughs> <laughs> and they hated me. Chat, I know. It's so funny, honestly. They hated me so much because I'd been making this squeaking fucking noise with my boba for like half an hour at this point. And I didn't... I don't like doing annoying things. I don't like being loud. I'm a very quiet person. Bro, I just broke down. I was in like hysterical laughter. <laughs> and, <laughs> and honestly, I was in hysterical laughter to the point... You guys remember how I was saying my food was like cotton? It was like eating cotton. I was laughing so hard that I thought I was going to throw up because I felt like I had all this cotton in my chest like here because I couldn't swallow it and digest it. And it got to the point... Um, <laughs> it got to the point, I said to the boys, I said, I'm so sorry, I have to leave the room because if I stay in this room, I'm going to throw up because I can't stop fucking laughing. So I went, <laughs> I went into the bathroom to try and calm myself down, like, as far away from everyone as I could get, like, as possible, far away as possible. And I was in the bathroom next to the toilet because I was so scared I was going to be sick. Not because I was, like, panicking or anything, just because, like, the food hadn't digested and I felt, I felt like, I was laughing so hard with my belly, it felt like the food was just going to come up because I was laughing so fucking hard. And I was in the toilet for about 10 minutes on my own chat, just hysterically laughing. Like, I have never had the giggles like that in my fucking life. Like, it was like scream laughing. Like, it was so loud. And I finally calmed down and I was like, okay, I just need to stop laughing, laughing so my food can digest and I can go and sit back down and chill out with the boys again. And I like, I convinced myself that it was going to be fine if I go back in the room as long as I don't look at anyone. What MG did you take? Well, this is the thing. It, it was 10 MG... And I don't do weed, but apparently that was, like, going to be absolutely fine. Bro, it was not fine. Anyway, I was like, I was like I'm going to go back into the room. And as long as I don't make eye contact with anyone, I won't laugh and it'll be fine. 
Um, I think it was like the type as well. I think it was like a really strong type, but I don't know. I don't know anything about that stuff. Anyway, so I like, I finally like braved it to go back into the room and I walked over to the sink without looking at anyone because they felt, I was like, if I look at anyone, I'm going to start laughing. So I like shove, I walked slowly across the room looking at the floor to get to the sink <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I got to the sink and I started filling up my water so I could like just swallow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I've made it. I haven't laughed. I got to the sink and all the boys were over there on the sofa, like really far away. And as soon as I looked up, <laughs> as soon as I looked up, Ellen was just sat on the sofa looking at me like this. <laughs> and I just fuck, I just fucking went again. I just broke again. And honestly, I was hysterically laughing for about half an hour. And Ellen was just like, Ellen was just like, <laughs> like laughing at me, like, <laughs> Steve, I found out the next day, Steve was too scared to laugh because he thought I was having a panic attack the entire time. <laughs> but I, I was honestly just had the worst giggles I've ever had in my life. Bro, I'm sure that story doesn't make that much sense to you guys. But when I told Abby it, she was in hysterics. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta share that story because that's just too funny. That's too funny. Do Elam's laugh again, please, Koji? I don't know what I did. It was a in-the-moment thing. And I'm sure it was very accurate because I spent the last, like, two weeks with him. Um... <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, I, 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 obviously, I don't, like, do drugs or anything like that. So, I was just kind of like, um... I don't dabble with the marijuana in my daily life. So, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Uh, Koji, you're red. Honestly, it was that story. It just made me laugh so much. Um... That's one of my favorite moments from the whole trip, just because it was so funny. That was legit one of the best stories I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I'm sure it made no sense at all, but like in my head, just replaying it is... I, every time I think about it, I just start laughing so much. Oat milk! Thank you so much for the gift itself. I really appreciate it. Thank you. What was Dumbdog's reaction? <laughs> I think he was like laughing a little bit, but um, yeah, I don't really remember to be honest. <laughs> oh, uh, Steve, Red? I told chat chat about the time I looked at you and Koji and said, "Am I in a dream?" Oh, you actually <laughs> talked about that whole story? Yeah, well, because Koji told told them about the side eye, and then you thought he was having a panic. The attack, cyanide. So no, the side eye. Oh, yeah. Remember, Did you try to with cyanide with the poisoning your gas? Then, I tried to, I, yeah. I started That's to the get... Shit ever. I, I didn't tell you guys this, but I started to get super paranoid. Not to the point where I was having a panic attack or anything the first night. Oh, I did. Because, because <laughs> Koji was laughing so much. Oh, dude, that was scary. I started to freak out because I was like, oh, no. Worried about him, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, is he going to be okay? So I, I was like, I can't laugh. If I start uh, laughing, he's going to Then Koji's going to have a laugh panic attack. And yeah, and then there's fucking Alum. And then there's. Oh, was over there. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. He was, he was just doing no this social fucking, awareness at all. He was just doing this fucking giggle, and it was just cracking. He couldn't me up. stop giggling. He's having a giggle Dude, fest, a giggle so, problem. It was so funny. <laughs> It wasn't, was dude. It was it. scary, not what did funny. I do? You did the, so, you did the slow turn when he was doing the thing with the straw. Did I? Yeah, that was the reason why you started Oh, yeah, laughing. that was so funny, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said you looked around at him like Frankenstein. That's the boba thing he was doing. I was like... Oh, that was so... And he just kept doing it because he was so immersed in the film. He was, he was doing That's the clown sweet. juice thing, dude, where he like, moved the straw up and down. And I turned oh, just so slowly, God. like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it was the and loudest was straw like, movement, too. I can't even believe he was doing dude, that. Dude, it was like, I mean, full on just taking the straw in and out of that cup, man. Dude, we got oh. Koji and Boba. We were leaving in a hurry, I believe, to go somewhere. This boy puts us behind schedule to finish Chris every last ball boot. of his what, Boba. Boba. What did you say? I said a Boba by accident. <laughs> Uh, can everybody spam booba, please? No, please. 